Well, I hope we're all ready to hop in some mud, roll around a little bit, and get oinking. Cause who oh, wait, we do things a little differently around here. You may have seen some folk ranking birds, but we like to get down and dirty when we rank stinky fat ugly pigs. Pigs are green, pigs don't have limbs, and most importantly, pigs roll around in the mud and they oink. All right, all right, time to get serious. What would the angry birds be without the antagonistic pigs constantly trying to steal their eggs? Well, probably just birds, I guess. But we like them angry around here, hoo-wee. The pigs are typically much more straightforward than the birds, and many rely on single stereotypes as their entire personality trait. They're like Smurfs in a way. And if you thought there were a lot of birds, have you ever stopped to consider the assortment of enemies we've seen across every game and every TV show? Even the movies has like a hundred pigs. I think the important thing we need to keep in mind is that not every pig is worth getting ranked. And for this first episode, I tried my best to find the most necessary inclusions and then a bunch of really funny ones. That means our list for today will include the Minion Pig, Corporal Pig, Foreman Pig, King Pig, Chef Pig, Professor Pig, Chronicler Pig, Leonard, Jetpack Pig, Bomb Pig, Bowling Ball Pig, Toucan Pig, Fat Pig, Balloon Pig, Female Pig, Postman Pig, Ross, Mechanic Pig, Hambo, Butler Pig, Elton John Pig, Trump Pig, Prisoner Pig, Goliath Pig, Zombie Pigs, Green Day Pigs, Ram Pig, Mario Pig, Dr. Pig Respect, Major Laser, and of course, we finish things up with Piggy McCool. Now, without further ado, let's see which of these pigs make me want to oik, yes ma'am, and which one should be turned into green eggs and ham. You really can't get more basic than the Minion Pig. There's seemingly an endless supply of these guys, which makes for the perfect army to fight against. Now we could get into the lore that the pigs are genuinely immortal, despite zombie pigs existing somehow, but that feels like a way deeper dive on a freaking minion pig than there needs to be. Minion pigs have no interesting physical attributes, they are the weakest and most common pigs, and they simply cannot compare to the majority of pigs we have yet to see. So put them in D so we can get to the good stuff. Corporal Pig is a rank above the minion pigs, but for a long time the only thing that differentiated the two was his helmet. As we will continue to see on this list, pigs are simply given authority for appearing differently. I feel like it would be really fun to do a theory or essay video on that topic, looking at fun examples, we can save that for another time. Besides, like I said, he started off that way, but eventually was given a much more distinct design. A much more awful, putrid, hard to look at design, but a unique one nonetheless. Corporal Pig is known for his need of authority, and without that helmet, he has none. He'd do anything to keep that helmet, and he's even proven he could get the eggs all on his own if he wanted to. Otherwise, he's a pretty straightforward pig with a bit more health than a minion. I've never been crazy about the corporal, so he's going in C. Sorry if you're like in love with the helmet pig from Angry Birds, but I get down and dirty any day with the foreman pig. Or as I like to call him, the mustache pig. What a bird. I love the orange facial hair and the glass eye. Let's look at some backstory for him. This guy was born with a sick mustache, but most importantly, they show him here with both eyes, then suddenly in the next picture, he's got an eye patch. You can see he lost his eye during this time, but does he care? Nope, he's just a slappy-go-lucky kind of guy. As a foreman, he's in charge of a lot of the building and general upkeep in Pig City, which they certainly have a lot of, but he likes to invent and scheme from time to time as well. He actually holds a pretty high rank, acting as a secondary boss in a ton of games. He's one of the coolest looking pigs, one of the most admirable pigs, and one of my favorite pigs, S tier. You'd think the main antagonist of the Angry Birds series would be intimidating, would show his sheer power and authority, and overall just act as a menacing and threatening individual, but in reality, he virtually has none of those traits. He's definitely the most respected and important pig in Pig City, and every pig follows his orders and does his bidding. It seems as though they care much more about the crown than the pig who's wearing it, as it's been shown many times throughout Toons. Still, that isn't to say King Pig has no personality. Let's see, he's greedy, he's selfish, he's stupid, he's a crybaby, he's immature, he's annoying, he's lazy, and yet somehow, he's one of the most lovable pigs. He's been shown to be a jerk plenty of times, but he's also just goofy and dim-witted. He cries and you feel bad, and he tortures a pig, and you say, oh, King Pig, and you shake your finger at him disapprovingly. There was a point in time where he's a bit more intimidating, and that was in the early days of the series. Again, he's pretty much just a big minion pig wearing a crown, 
but in animations like The Year of the Dragon, I remember being a little afraid of him as a kid. I'd say it's a little sad he's been dumbed down, but he's also much more enjoyable of a character that way. I'll say A tier. Oh, I was cursed with the knowledge that his official name is Smooth Cheeks, so you have to too! Guys, check out Drab of Cena, an RTS with minimalistic but cute graphics and unusual game mechanics. The basic idea is simple, build a base, amass an army, and attack the enemy. Thanks to good optimization and a minimalistic style, this works on even the weakest hardware. Download the free demo on Steam right now. A few months ago, I probably wouldn't have given a crap about Chef Pig. A pig who can cook? Big freaking whoop! But after watching every Angry Birds Tunes episode, which made for an amazing video by the way that you should totally check out, I learned how unbelievably awesome the Chef Pig is. He's smart and he thinks for himself. He follows King Pig when it fits his agenda, but it's clear he wants nothing more than the power of the crown. He likes being in charge, and he freaking digs his own coffin if that ever gets threatened. After his appearances in Toons, he was added to Bad Piggies and became one of the three bosses in Angry Birds 2. He's kind of drifted into obscurity since, which really boils my blood. Like I was saying with King Pig, I like him as a big dumb oaf, but to have a serious and threatening villain is virtually the only thing missing from Angry Birds. Chef Pig could have absolutely been that villain, replacing stupid Zeta or Zeta or however you say it, and put Chef Pig in there! He's stolen the crown and now King Pig teams up with the birds to take him down in this awesome showdown. That will never happen, but it would be really cool. I love you Chef Pig, and you deserve better. S tier. One of the few peaceful pigs is the Professor Pig. Not only is he nice, but he actually dislikes the war between pigs and birds. He likes making nice inventions and doing things in a friendly way, but most of the time it ends in violence regardless of his wishes. He is seen extremely infrequently throughout the games and shorts, and he definitely had the biggest spotlight in Toons. He gets a cameo in Transformers, he gets a little lab in Epic, but otherwise he is never presented as an enemy or a playable character. As for his appearance, he's just kinda old with a forehead big enough for that brain of his. He's not super interesting, but he's an unlikable character either, so I'm gonna put him in the lower half at C tier. The same can be said for Chronicler Pig. A few appearances here and there. Like, whoa! He gets a whole cutscene in Angry Birds Go? He gets a very small amount of appearances in Toons? Amazing! But unlike Professor Pig, he hardly got a spotlight. I'd say Pig Possessed was his biggest role, but even then he just got to read a book. He doesn't get much of a personality. Basically all we know is that chroniclers write descriptions of historical events as they happen and he acts as a judge sometimes. He's an old pig, he's got a classy wig, and he looks really strange in the classic Angry Birds art style. I like him less than Professor Pig, so he's going in D tier. People still leave comments on my first bird ranking video going nuts about Leonard. People want justice for Leonard! Well, this is your moment to shine, buddy. Don't mess this up! The lore around this guy is super strange. King Mudbeard was known to be our King Pig's father long before the Angry Birds movie, but once that came out, he started showing up in nearly every Angry Birds game. How he coexists with Smooth Cheeks over here? I have no idea. Sometimes he replaces our King Pig completely, like in Angry Birds Reloaded. In Angry Birds 2 though, Leonard is a playable bird, and King Pig is still an enemy. It's confusing, to say the least. So that seems virtually unsolvable, we could talk about his moveset. He gets oh, three snap on! Oh, which can make for some pretty awesome shots, but most of the time it's really tough to use. I've grown on the move a little since I first ranked him, and as a whole, I think he's just an alright character. Not many pigs can say they got to be a Lego or a speedster, whatever that freak of nature is. He's fine in the movies, he's fine in the games, and he's fine sitting in B tier. This next group of pigs is actually playable in the original Angry Birds game, and unless you have encyclopedic knowledge of Angry Birds stuff, I'm guessing that's quite a surprise to you. Every bird received a pig counterpart for the Golden King Pig mode, which is only unlocked after getting 3 stars in every level from poached eggs to birthday party, or just buying a toy and scanning it into the game. We're going to be skipping past Red and the Blue's counterparts since they are just minion pigs. That means Chuck is up first with the Jetpack Pig. And I ain't about to be boring and just place them in the same spots as the original flock. Let's actually look at these guys and have a little fun, shall we? Despite having a Jetpack, he basically refuses to use it. At no point does a Jetpack do what a Jetpack does, which is pretty obvious considering they are pointing up and down, not left and right. I get having a Jetpack is a pretty cool look, but use it, buddy! D tier. I'd say the bomb pig is equally uninteresting. He's corporal pig but with a fuse on his head, although it does turn red right before the explosion. This might be my least favorite design for the playable pigs. So you know what that means? Do you understand what time it currently is? No it ain't 11.05, it's F tier time! 
Naturally, pigs don't have the ability to lay eggs, otherwise this war they have with the birds would be pretty pointless. Instead, they'd opted for a bowling ball. I think it's fun despite the explosion it creates not making a ton of sense. The main thing that I dislike is that the bowling ball seems thicker than the egg Matilda drops, so it's actually harder or impossible to do as well with it. Still, the idea is fun to me, so I want it in C tier. I really thought this one would be called Boomerang Pig, but nope, just straight up Toucan Pig. The big old beak is pretty much the whole gimmick, so it makes sense. While I do love how he looks, mostly just because Hal is my favorite bird, I do wish he could have gotten something unique like everyone else. Literally just strap a giant boomerang to his side, you know? Still, it's Hal, so A tier. Now that's a big old pig! Now that's a big fat stinky ugly fat pig! I'm pretty sure this is the only one to reappear in other games. He got to be an enemy in space, and he's probably El Porcador, realistically. But here he is of course stepping in for Terrence. And what more is there to say? People love saying Terrence is the biggest bird, but nobody's out here saying Fat Pig is the fattest pig, and I'm sick of it. See it right now. Okay, good. S tier. Do not fret, my inflation-loving homies. The pig list has just as much inflation as the birds do. King Pig Mode picks random levels, so this guy was generally really difficult to collect clips of. Bubbles is in very few levels, but thankfully I got a few shots here. Fully inflated, this guy is massive, and no, he isn't fat. He's just full of air. The inflation community is going to crucify you if you ain't careful. It's also a very clever design. I really don't know what other than a balloon would work here. A tier. Well, Stella has a pretty unique look, so of course, they gave the pig version a pink bow and named it Female Bird. Enough about sexism though, this is absolutely the laziest redesign they came up with. This hardly resembles Stella, and it's kind of unfair to see some of the others look so cool, but this one just has a bow and some pink eyeshadow. Yawn, get dogged on, female pig. I don't care if it looks bad that the only freaking female pig on this list is an F tier. That's her fault, not mine. The final pig from the original Angry Birds game is none other than Postman Pig, who only appeared on the pause screen to bring you the mail. He also showed up in most of the other games at the time, so this guy's been on some crazy adventures. He's driving to work on his bike, he crashes and ruins his day on his bike. He gets made out with on Valentine's Day, he dies and becomes a zombie on Halloween. He's a plushie, he's sweaty, he's new, he's old, Postman Pig has done it all. But wait, if he's the one bringing me out of the paw screen, then that means... HE'S THE ONE GIVING ME ADS?! Grr. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry, Postman Pig! Ah, you're off the hook for now. Those are some crazy adventures. But you better watch yourself, buddy. B tier. Alright, let's move on to Bad Piggies. There aren't a crazy amount of new characters, but our protagonist is none other than Ross. We love him way more than the Minion Pigs, cause he... Uh, well he has freckles. Yeah, sorry Ross, I love playing as you in Bad Piggies, but what do you really bring to the table? You've got that iconic whale. <laughs> You're willing to pilot any vehicle I throw at you. You do have freckles. Alright buddy, have a nice C tier. Trust me, Mechanic Pig is not Postman Pig. He would never force you to watch an ad. Besides, anybody who looks like this and Angry Birds Go is pretty freaking epic in my book. Anyways, Mechanic Pig is known for constructing vehicles, wearing a blue hat, and strolling near holes in the ground and losing said hat every three levels or so. He also serves as a power-up in Bad Piggies, immediately constructing the ideal vehicle in any level. He's known to be able to fix anything, and he loves to look cool while doing it. Mechanic Pig has got some style, so let's put his hunk of ham in B tier. Speaking of ham, we have the titular Hambo. Some guy in the audience is so freaking excited right now. Hambo is a bloodthirsty war criminal that hungers for challenges that seemingly no other pig can face. He's literally only appeared in Angry Birds tunes, but he did get two whole episodes dedicated to him. He's known for taking things way too literally, but that's what makes him just so dang fun to watch. Three episodes of the same joke might have been a bit much, but thankfully he got a chance to do his thing just twice. His teeth are generally terrifying though, and with no appearances outside of tunes, I feel like I have no choice but to give him B tier too. Butler Pig is in the exact same boat. He got two episodes of Shine, but really spoiled it in his debut. I don't know if you've maybe seen, I don't know, quite possibly the most influential and groundbreaking video of all time. It's just called I Watch and Ranked Every Angry Birds Tunes episode so you don't have to. And it just so happens to be made by me. So crazy. But if you did, you remember he got a big fat F tier. It was a bad episode with one of the worst endings of the entire show. His second episode, The Butler Did It, is a great episode, but he had absolutely no part in it. He gets to hold a bloody hammer, big freaking whoop. I'm still pissed at him, and don't find him funny, charming, or attractive. Surprising, I know. F tier! Uh. 
I never even talked about this guy and the awe-inspiring tunes video I made, but he's Elton John pick. Despite, you know, literally just playing the piano a few times. He actually got to be in the last episode of the show, so you know what? Good for you, Elton John Pig. But no one likes you. Actually, scratch that. No one knows you exist. You ain't Butler Pig, but you are D-tier bad. If you thought it was weird to call that guy Elton John, then take a look at Trump Pig over here. Yep, we got the son of God and bringer of all things beautiful Obama bird in the flock, yet the birds are relegated to dealing with a Trump Pig. Who doesn't even look like Trump? I generally think I'd be humored by the idea of Trump being portrayed as some spoiled toupee wearing loser, but they ruined it by making this random rich pig be based off our orange president. F tier. I've always loved how the prisoner pig looks. Those massive eyebrows could rival Pig Red over here. He breaks out of prison in Hamshank Redemption, and he generally leaves the Angry Red series forever. Maybe he really did go back to his home planet like E.T. But yeah, I just kinda like him. Not completely sure why, I just do. A tier. Somebody hold me back. Hold me back! I can't take them cheeks! <laughs> the absolute thickest bird who's so caked up he doesn't even know what to do with all that sugar. He gets to be in prison, he's a carny at the fair, he's a wrestler, he's everywhere. And no matter where you look, his juicy, juicy ass is always right there. And while he's certainly attempting to bribe me for an S tier, he's going in A. For A, big fat butt. Zombie pigs are an enigma. I truly don't know how a zombie pig exists when pigs literally cannot die. In an episode of Slingshot Stories, they show pigs being slaughtered, yet being nursed back to health in purgatory and jumping right back into battle. They don't die! So zombie pigs are basically a paradox. That isn't to say they don't look really, really cool though. They also have a pretty impressive lineup of appearances, like Enemies in Epic and pretty much every Halloween event, even in the Angry Birds Pop spin-offs. They come in tons of shapes and sizes, yet each one is really just as awesome, if not more so than the last. I like them a lot, and they can go eat some brains and ass in A tier. Well, we've officially made it to the absurd part of today's tier list. Strap on in everybody, cause it's gonna get even stupider than these Green Day pigs. Who knows why Roby decided to show Green Day respect by making them killable enemies for people to relentlessly and brutally massacre again and again. But hey, they do have green in their name after all, so honestly, it's pretty deserved. They've captured their likeness pretty well, and I'm very happy to get three whole pigs out of the way here at just one spot, but they're honestly nothing more than just a C tier. Okay, somebody get that guy that loves Hambo too much some water, let him sit down for a second. He's gonna start freaking out in a second here. Trust me. I hate to say this, but... Rampig is real and he will hurt you! To pour salt into the wound, we were forsaken with his first presence in 2022! That's right, Hambo had the chance to get into his very first Angry Birds game and was replaced by this? While I do demand justice, this is the funniest freaking pig I've ever seen, B tier. Mario Pig! Mario Pig! Little unknown factoid here, but there's this very rare, very retro game called Mario Hits Luigi's Jewel, all about this guy with the red hat. I've been waiting for a comeback of this guy for what feels like forever. They never even made a Mario 2. At least Angry Birds is willing to pay their respects, because no one else is apparently. If Mario ever hits the jewel again, you know I'll be here ready to make a ranking video on it. Well, it is a cute little sprite, but he's missing a pretty key detail in his design. Where's Luigi's vape? Dumb D tier. Major Laser is probably the most badass pig to ever exist. He just randomly shows up in this cutscene and made this whole entire bang of a song, Shuffle and Spawn. You guys probably heard it, I'm pretty sure it was in Bad Pigs at some point. Someone, anyone, give me a single reason why this guy should not be an S tier. Just one. You can't, I know you can't. So shut up, cause he's already freaking in there, look. Angry Birds had an incredible idea to promote their upcoming game, Angry Birds Double Crossed. They were gonna include the biggest celebrities ever as Angry Birds characters. Give it up for the most famous individuals of all time. PewDiePie, Stella, and Dr. Pig Respect. What more is there to say? I didn't think Dr. Disrespect could be any more perfect, yet here I am looking at a flawless image. Weep knowing that Dr. Disrespect is not real. Sob acknowledging the little to no respect he has for you, and cry understanding that he will absolutely never, never be your friend. It's a burden we all must bear, but we can do it together. This is S tier. I don't wanna move on, 
but I know people have really been waiting for this one. I thought I owed Peggy McCool an apology before, and oh boy, do I have some sucking up to do. You guys think you'll forgive me? Yeah, I'm not so sure either. Well, I wrote out this apology letter. I suppose I can read it out to you in front of everybody now. Solely for publicity. I want to look good. I want to look good. Dear Piggy MC Cool, All your life, you were told you couldn't be who you truly wanted to be. All your life, you dreamed of the day you could be known as something more than what you once were. You should have seen it, Piggy. C can I call you Piggy? Yeah, I can call you Piggy. You should have seen it, Piggy. The comments I received on your behalf. WDYM. Piggy McCool is obviously a bird, they cried. What do you mean Piggy McCool isn't a bird? Look at him, he has a beak. And feathers, they questioned. Bruh, Piggy McCool is clearly a bird. I decay what you were talking about, they pleaded. Piggy McCool is SS, best bird of all, they declared. I think you need to go to an ophthalmologist. Piggy McCool is the most bird I've seen. I've learned my mistake, Piggy. I now understand that people keep telling you that you cannot be something you are not. I hear you crying out, Piggy. But we, me, those random comments, we see you. <sighs> They're all right, you know. You may have been born as a pig, but we see you for who you truly are. You, Piggy McCool. You're a bird. You're a bird. <laughs> You're a bird. <sighs> Wait, what? How did a bird get in here? F tier, huh? Well, we certainly roll around the mud, and who could forget all that oinking? Yep, I hate to say it, but those were some bad piggies. Alright, I'm done with that. I'm never freaking doing that voice again. The birds are a constant in every game, and we know what we're getting when we see Red, Chuck, or Matilda. But the pigs? It is always a wild card with these guys. One day you've got an average corporal pig, heck, maybe even a fat pig. The next you've got Major Laser slaughtering zombie pigs, while Elton John pig freaking plays their accompaniment. We have barely scratched the surface of pigs today, and you know I'm ready to put some more little piggies on this list. My only question is, are we keeping in line with the birds and doing another random assortment for part two? Or are you all ready to join the pork side? I know I am, but I'd love to hear what you think. I had some pretty insane placements on this list. I just know people are going nuts about Piggy McCool right now. Well, you have a chance to change history and make your very own list. Something you won't find anywhere else is the super high quality images of these playable pigs because they don't exist. I drew these myself. So for just $5, you can get these and every other pig to place on your own tier list. It really helps me out and I appreciate anyone who signs up. I wanna see some fat pigs in my Discord. Let's get to all these little piggies. They've been so bad. Thank you to my members Groth One Finger, Cobalt Chrome E, Patrick Byer Jean, Honomaki, Knight 9000, Bright Streak, MD Switchy, Fizzy, Kirby Fan Real 1992, and Omegon, who's in the I love you Jake Miller tier, so thank you very much. If you want to be my little piggy, then please consider becoming a member. Now, if y'all excuse me, I got a little pile of mud with my name on it. Damn it, I said I wasn't going to do the voice again. Now, if you'll excuse... <laughs> Jesus. Now, that's a big step. Now, that's a big step. <sighs> we like to get down and dirty when we rank... But we like to get down and dirty when... But, but we like to get down and dirty when we... He gets... <gasps> through snap bombs. <laughs> he gets... <gasps> he gets... <gasps> through snap bombs. <gasps> He's going in A. For A, big bat butt. <laughs> big bat butt.